So hey there, we're gonna take a look at working with user experience design, like what that means, and go through the process and just kinda give you an insight into how it all works. Um, my name is Brian Wood. I'm actually a web developer, and I create a lot of a lot of different kinds of learning content, I guess you could say. Uh, and I'm actually here with Travis Nielsen, hey. who works at Google. Yeah. And just, what do you do? I, I design search at Google. And then I try to share what I learn uh, by making videos like these and speaking and creating podcasts. Awesome. So I, I guess to start things out, what I really want to hit is the big question. What, what exactly is UX? What, what does it UX? stand for? Yeah. What is it? How does it yeah, yeah, affect our lives? UX is a, is a great way to think about um, what we do because it, what it means expressed is, is user experience. And when we think about uh, when we're creating a product or service or something to, to help people, to help our users, we want to think about their experience. How do they feel when they're approaching the things that, they, that we're making? Are we answering their questions? Are we making them feel like we understand what their needs are? Are, are, we, helping to them, uh, help, are we helping them meet their goals? This is the user experience. So this is the, the whole thing, the whole experience, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, and it encompasses okay. all of these kind of touch points, like brands, uh, your, your, your brand, your marketing. It, like if somebody calls the help desk, like that's the user experience. All of it is the experience. Everybody is involved in the user's, I've said this so many times, the yeah. user's experience. We will, <laughs> we will say it a lot. But right. it, well, it's funny to me, because out in, it, 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 this is not something new, by the way. No, no, user okay. experience has been around as a practice for as long as, you know, I mean, Henry Ford creating the Model T, trying to transport a body from point A to point B, thought, what is that experience going to be like? Should I include a chair in the car, mm -hmm. a seat? There you go. Do yeah, they need yeah, it? Yeah. Should they run along the side? These are parts of the, you know, parts of the experience. Well, yeah, it, to me also, I hear a lot of acronyms out there, mm -hmm. you know, and I think a lot of us do. But one that I hear a lot is UI. And yeah. I actually, t in the beginning, I started kind of confusing the two, and I didn't quite understand the difference. What, what is UI? Yeah. Uh, UI means the user interface. Uh, so basically, these are the, the touch points that people have uh, with the product. So if you're designing an app, it's what does it look like? How do they touch it? What does it do when they touch it? It's the interface. And a lot of the times uh, in our industry, we, we say UI, we're talking about the graphical user interface. But, but, it, but largely, like a little bit wider, if we think about how do people, how do users interface with our products? Maybe it's through voice. Maybe it's through motion. Maybe it's through gestures. These are all part of it too, uh, but when we're talking about UX, UI in our industry, generally we're talking about people making graphical user interfaces. Interesting, okay. So, uh, so okay, that's, that's great. That's a little bit of like background yeah. you know, of what it is, what these two things are. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna kind of dive a little bit further into user experience design. And I guess one of the things I wanna ask right out of the gate is how does it fit into a web or app design workflow that we have today? I mean, like what is, what's, what's the deal there? Yeah, um, so a, a web or app designer is, is an expression of what a user experience designer is. So it, it kind of think of it as concentric circles or like, like a small idea, big idea. The big idea is how does the user feel? What's their experience? The smaller expression is, if I'm in charge of the website or the design of this app, how can I design it to give them that great user experience? Okay. Right? Yeah. Um, and the, the wonderful thing, I think, about being a user experience designer is that we have this larger platform to influence other portions of the user experience. So if I consider myself a web designer, that's my domain. I'm going to design the web. But if I consider myself a user experience designer, I should be in the meeting and talking to marketing and being like, hey, the user thinks this way. I know this because I've done the research. Or, or when I'm talking to the help desk, like how should we approach that experience for the user? So it, it encompasses a lot more than it's just so pretty buttons, nice fonts, that kind of thing. Yeah, right? so, I mean, it is all that as a, as a web designer, as a UI designer, yeah. designing that user interface. But if I'm going to give the user, it, it, if I want to be a, a user experience designer, I want to have influence over the whole experience. That means I have to do it all myself, but I should sure. definitely have a seat at that table. Okay. So as, as a web designer, as an app designer, you actually have skills that will parlay into this that you can use, right, into user yeah. experience? Is that yeah. true? Or? The, the, the beautiful thing about user experience designers is that we have this, this unique blend of tool sets. We can create artifacts. We can create designs and presentations and, and, and things. And then also we have these, this influence. 
We are in charge of the user experience. Uh, my friend Jared Arondo told me one time, he said, as a user experience designer, you sit next to the user and you have to advocate for them. Gotcha. You have to, you have to, you have to help the whole organization understand what's right for the user. And that's gotcha. where we, that's where we design the best work. Okay. So we, okay. So I, I kind of understand we have a flow and we're going to, as we go through the questions and we kind of talk a little bit more, yeah. we'll, we'll kind of hit on each one of these. But the last thing I wanted to, to talk about was how does, I mean, what does the future potential for UX look like? Just kind of in a nutshell, like job growth, that kind of thing. Like, what? I think it's a really great time to to be interested in this field. I think that the what I was talking about is getting that seat at the table, like, like design and user experience design specifically, mm -hmm. is being understood as as kind of like a key value that a lot of organizations yeah. haven't really understood or or embraced until recently. Mm -hmm. And so now you're saying like you see all these job postings um, that they used to say things like web designer or webmaster <laughs> going back. Wow. Yeah. But now they're like <laughs> user experience designer because people are seeing the value of somebody trying to own and understand the entire experience. And so you'll like I did a search on Google Trends to say like web designer and and user experience designer and, okay. and the, there is definitely a shift in the industry. It's a really great time yeah. to be looking at user experience design. Sure seems like it. So so it, this is great. This is great foundational information. It's just us going through and saying what is UX? How does it differentiate from UI? Um, how do we actually fit it into our web or app design workflows today and also talking a bit about job growth which is phenomenal. So that's great.